Ja, ja, ja. Oh, Pastor John. How are you? How is the ministry there? Oh, thank God. Oh, oh, okay, you're inviting Bishop. You want to invite me for a program? Oh, that's great, that's great, that's great. That's great. Oh, okay. When is the program? Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, I will ask my secretary to check um, my itinerary. However, uh, what did you say is the size of the church? No, no, that's too small. But you know, I, I don't grace such occasion. You know, the least members that should be ministering to should be up to 5,000. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't worry. You will check my, she will check my itinerary and then she will get back to you. Thank you very much. All right, bye-bye. God bless you. the man of God, he told me that I have a call. You have a call? Yes. Yeah. As soon as I'm perishing out there, that there's no more time. That is wonderful. If you have a call, then that is beautifully good. We have so many people in the kingdom who we are not called. Sometimes they will just, their pastors call them. Yeah. Sometimes they call themselves as workers and they just, we have so many of them who are already holding very big positions. Really? Yes. It's, it's not everybody you see in the people that has been called. Concerning the revelation I had, mm -hmm. I saw a girl, a little girl, telling me that it's coming. I'm confused. Who is calling? So after my explanation to the man of God, he said, I have a call. So if you are called, that is a good news. There's no big deal, so I'm going to talk to how a circle of my bishop partners, um, Bishop Bad, Bishop Mike, and then a lot of the others. I will walk you up so that they can introduce you and put you through the system. The system? Yes, yeah, the, the, the church has a system. There's a process. There's, there's a way things work in the kingdom. You don't just come out from the blue and say you are, um, I don't know. The Bible says that it won't be done on earth as it is in heaven. We are building. A replica of heaven you can see it in the cathedrals the kingdom has progressed the kingdom has moved you know we are moving far beyond the era of solomon you know where you see the kingdom flourishing in abundance mm -hmm. and you see the the church growing in mass and quantities in limbs and in bounds you see you see it you don't need to be told you see the big cathedrals 
clothes, you see the, the depraved church, you see the man of God dressed in class, in, in, in caliber. So you, the, the world in the terms of prosperity cannot match the church. The church is moving. So I, I, if you are ready, I will introduce you and uh, so that we can put you in the system. And then you build your church, build, we we'll walk you through that and everything will be easy. You know, well, is it about raising a church? Is it about starting a church? This little girl keeps saying, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. <laughs> Jesus is coming. That is what they're trying to tell you. It is no news. Okay. It is not a news. Even while the disciples were with Jesus, Jesus told them they will not go around the city before he comes. That is 2,000 years ago. It's coming, yes, it's coming, it's coming. But I, I, I advise you, if you're really called, the kingdom has progressed. The kingdom has moved. Most of the evangelists have moved into the first square, and they moved into the building. So we just put you through. You get to collect tithe, make them to pay tithe, make them to pay offering, make them to give your Isaac, make them to give everything they have, so that we can build a kingdom here on earth. Because when you look at everything, then you know that God is already here. Look at the private jets, look at the houses, look at the cars, look at all the good things that God has given to the kingdom. God is showcasing his power, his glory, and his prosperity. We are coming back to the days of Solomon. Hallelujah. You know Solomon in his wealth.